Let's get ready to rumble! What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Teddy. Um, you already know what happened last episode. You don't need me telling you. At this point, I'm just here to finally see the rumbling happening. We've been talking about it for so damn long. Go on then. Let's see it. Really though, don't expect me to tell you what happened last time. Fuck do I know. A whole lot of mess. That's what happened. Zeke was a spectator with us. There you go. <laughs> Someone a while ago mentioned that the reason why Grisha's Titan looks kind of, you know, not that great is because he didn't have the time to like work out or, you know. Because he looks like a mixture, god, he looks like a mixture between Zeke's Titan and Eren's. Because it's terrible, probably. This is kind of a long recap, no? It's like that one episode. Zeke's same, honestly. Imagine that, his own father saying that. Kami-sama。まだ親父が俺に食われるところを見てないぞ。世界と戦うように仕向けた。無か。ブーは無理。進撃の巨人に本当に時を超える能力があるのなら、都合のいい記憶だけをグリシャに見せて、過去に影響を
Oh, okay. They burned their village or her village. So they were invaded. Why does no one have eyes? Did she actually do it or they just blamed her? Yokaro, Omae wa Jiuda. Oh my god, I'm so curious what happened. That's definitely symbolic. like a spine oh my god you're telling me this was a coincidence just by accident what the hell she looks a bit different than the usual titans done well Oh. Right. King Fritz. She always has like this very blank expression on her face. Oh, there goes another one. They basically took over the world. a slave or did she want to die nani o shite oru oki yo omae ga yari gotoki de shinanu koto wa wakatte o waga dore yumiru yo what a life Oh my god, that scared me. Come on, come on. Ew. Ah. The walls. Wait, but aren't they supposed to eat her while she's still alive? Because then if she dies, the power gets passed on wherever. 
ミミルの血を絶やしてはならぬ娘が死ねば背骨はこからこへ So I guess the power is split, right? Wait, hold on then. That means that, like, it's kind of confusing though, because if. If King Fritz is from the Eldian Empire, that means that he invaded his own people, because she's Eldian if she turned into a Titan. Right? Or am I getting confused? Or is it just. Because, oh wait, maybe it's not just the Eldians, they just. They called them the subjects of Ymir. This is her fixing, building, being stuck here forever, basically. Um. ね、何をしている。夢だ。俺の命令に従え。全ての指ルの民から。俺はここまで導いたのは。お前なのか。今すぐやれ。夢だ。待っていたんだろう。ずっと。俺は王家の血を引く者だ。2000年前から誰かを
every inch. So can you know you? Kono Yokara Kuchikusuru Made. Oh, my God. I, I'm both speechless, but I can't say that I'm too surprised by it either. They had it coming. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, my God. So everyone apart from the Eldians, including the ones on the continent. Everyone, everyone, like... Everyone, everyone. I don't even know where to start. I was gonna comment on how half of this episode was just a recap, but never mind. Honestly, I kind of wish that we spent a little more time on Yumir's story. I'm not sure how it was covered in the manga, obviously. I haven't read it, but um, I just wish it was a little bit longer. I didn't expect to already get the rumbling this time around. I thought it was gonna be next time, maybe. There's no good outcome of Attack on Titan, basically. It's either get stomped or get Marley as your housemate. I'd honestly pick the former, not gonna lie. Hmm. Everyone's a victim. Can we just leave it at that, or is it not enough for people to get triggered over? I mean, what do you want me to say? Aaron is doing Aaron stuff. We've chewed over it like 50 fucking times already. Like I said, I can't say I'm too surprised. Already when a Liberio thing happened, I was kind of like, okay, I see how it is. And then he had that whole conversation with Zeke where he was like, you know, if my freedom is gonna get taken away from me, I'm gonna take away the freedom of whoever is trying that as well. Or before they even try to take mine. And it was like, okay, mm-hmm. I kind of know where this is going. I mean, it's not even up for debate. It's an outrageous measure on Aaron's part, obviously. But hold up a second. Let's forget about poster boy Aaron for like two seconds and talk about Yumir, because this is like, I think, a Yumir episode. <laughs> the character that I've been so curious about and we've been talking about since fucking I don't even know how long. We've been hearing legends, rumors, um, you know, this story that's been passed down for generations and you don't know what's true anymore. And we finally got a little sneak peek, a little bit of closure, sort of, but also kind of not really, to be honest. So Miss Alice in Wonderland here, and whatever that is, it kind of looks like a spine, question mark. Um, just met out of pure coincidence. No devils, no contracts, no nothing. Um, I'm guessing this King Fritz was not the same King Fritz that ran away and built the walls, right? It seems a little bit unclear and I'm confused how this King Fritz knew that the daughters had to eat Ymir to gain the power. How did he know that? Because she was the first one of her kind, so what? It's also kind of throwing me off that they had to kill her, you know, chop her up into little pieces when up until now what we've seen or like the method that we've seen that works is when the person is alive and then they get eaten. Also, when they're a titan, that's the other thing. Wait, I'm like kind of confused about how this whole process works because they weren't titans either. I'm gonna try to not confuse myself by saying this, but the way it looks like is Yumi to set this all up knowing that it would happen to set herself free. Does that make sense? That's how I interpret it anyway. So she, in a way, it was for her to basically escape this hell, this ongoing cycle of exactly eternity. So she knew that Aaron and Zeke were gonna come here and waited like 2000 years for it to happen. And so, so that she could finally be free of King Fritz's whatever. I think she was, she was just, I guess, incredibly loyal to like King Fritz and the Fritz family line because she keeps listening to them and she jumped in front of the spear as well which to me was just like what why you were treated like shit like all your life I've written it down here so why did she decide to listen to Aaron she granted his wish uh, but what triggered it so I'm assuming she was waiting for him so he, that he sort of woke her up if you will is that right also why does Aaron look like the way he does now he looks so much different than uh, even her. He looks just like a floating spine. I have a lot of questions. I'm honestly debating on whether I should read the comments explaining any of them because I have a feeling that people are gonna spoil, but for the moment, those are the questions that I have. 
I don't know. Maybe they'll ex get explained later. Yeah, I, I don't know. Honestly, I need to watch this episode like 20 more times and also discuss it with my mom, so... Um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely good to have a discussion with someone else about it It just makes the whole process of understanding the story and whatnot a lot easier Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye